Lafayette and Fordham are in. The two teams will represent the Patriot League in the NCAA Division I FCS playoffs as the first round kicks off this Saturday. The Leopards qualified this past weekend, earning the automatic bid with their 50-28 win over Lehigh to claim the Patriot League championship. They will travel to New Hampshire Saturday for their first round contest. Fordham received an at-large bid after going 10-1 during the regular season, and the Rams will host Sacred Heart in a first-round game on Saturday. Hey everyone, I'm Melanie Pulowski, and welcome to this Week 13 Football Edition of Patriot League Roundup. Four games were on the schedule this Saturday, but none bigger than Lafayette's trip to Lehigh for the Patriot League Championship. In the 149th meeting, it was all Lafayette as the Leopards cruised out to a 21-14 halftime lead. And late in the third quarter, they made it 36-14 on Ross Shurman's second touchdown run of the game. Lehigh scored twice early in the fourth to cut it to 36-28, but a pair of huge plays over the next two minutes would clinch the title for Lafayette. Demetrius Dixon is going to take a screen pass inside the 15 and into the end zone. 68 yards for a touchdown. Pressure from the backside. Tyrus White forces the fumble, and Lafayette will scoop it up. Pasha is going to go in untouched from 42 yards to seal it for the Leopards. Lafayette will be the champions of the Patriot League in 2013 with a 5 and 6 record. They will move on and represent the Patriot League in the FCS playoffs next week. Uh, the best feeling I've ever had in sports. It's the first major championship I've, I've ever won in my life, so it's a big accomplishment. And just the fact that this senior class has been so much, there's so much adversity since I've been here from, from freshman year. The fact that we had so many ups, ups and downs, and even this season we had so many ups and downs. And the fact that we came up, came up strong in the end, just came out that uh, win, you know, it just feels great. Fordham ran out of the gates at Colgate, taking a huge first quarter lead, fueled by an 86-yard touchdown pass from Michael Niebrick to Tabucky Jones, making it 28-0. Brian Wetzel, who caught three touchdown passes in the game, broke free on a punt in the second quarter and returned it 81 yards for the score and the 42-7 lead. Niebrick added a pair of touchdown passes in the second half to finish with five total, including a four-yard toss to tight end Dan Light in the fourth as Fordham went on to win 56-19. Georgetown traveled to Holy Cross Saturday as each team looked to end their seasons on a high note. And early on, it was the Crusaders taking a 14-7 lead on Peter Pouillos' 19-yard touchdown pass to Mike Fess. Georgetown tied it at 14 on a Kyle Nolan one-yard run late in the second quarter. And after a pair of Matt Maxora field goals in the third quarter made it 20-14, Nolan busted loose for an 82-yard run in the fourth, making it 28-14. Nolan finished with 143 yards rushing to go with his 227 yards passing. Holy Cross scored in the final minute on a Puyol's touchdown pass to Jake Wysorek, but it wasn't enough in the 28-21 Georgetown win. Bucknell went on the road for a non-league game at VMI and won 35-23 to finish the season at 6-5. Brandon Wesley threw for a touchdown and ran for two more, while C.J. Williams amassed 122 yards of total offense and scored twice. The FCS tournament opens Saturday, and complete coverage of both Fordham and Lafayette's opening round games will be on ESPN3. For more information on Saturday's first round, log on to PatriotLeague.com. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Plowski.